Welcome to the Autism and Neurodiversity Podcast. We're here to bring you helpful information from leading experts and give you effective tools and support. I'm Jason Grigla, a licensed counselor and founder of Techie for Life, a specialized mentoring program for neurodiverse young adults. And I'm Debbie Grigla, a certified life coach. And maybe most importantly, we're also parents to our own atypical young adults. Friends, hello, welcome. So we are knee deep in holiday gift giving time. And I wanted to talk to you about the gifts of different brains. I see so many neurodivergent young people that really struggle because they feel so different than everyone else and they experience a lot of disappointments and feel broken, like they're not enough. Uh, Maybe they've had a lot of failures and they feel a lot of shame over those failures and they just feel left behind by their peers and just really struggle. And feel like something's wrong with them. And I talk with lots of parents who are hurting and and see their kid hurting and don't know what to do to help them and just see all the problems and struggles or their kid doesn't seem motivated or um, just is behind where they would like them to be. And they don't know what to do for them. And in all of it, there's just so much frustration, judgment, neurodiverse kiddos that have their own frustrations and then they're highly aware of people around them that are frustrated with them and parents that have insecurities around trying to parent their neurodivergent kiddo and they have their own frustrations with their kiddo and then they're highly aware of of the judgment and what other people are saying about them as a parent or their kiddo, it can be really challenging in all of that. And with neurodivergent brains, there are inherent weaknesses and different timelines for development than typical brained kids. And they struggle with some things that their typical brain peers don't struggle with, or they figured out at a much earlier stage of development. But there are also gifts that come from having a neurodivergent brain or raising a neurodivergent child, teen, or young adult. Many neurodivergent young people have more cognitive aptitude in certain areas, even if they have less in others. And there's a lot of interesting traits that come with a neurodivergent brain. Many are able to hyper-focus on areas areas of their special interest. To be able to hyper-focus, there's some real strengths and cool things that can come from that ability. Kids with ADHD often don't get stressed out about the same things that everybody else is getting stressed out about. Kids with sensory issues, a lot of them, their senses are actually sharper and pick up on more things. They experience the world in a unique way. I mean, imagine having, I mean, think about like being able to hear things with more sharpness than other people hear them or sensory, being able to experience the world, the senses, at a much more heightened state. Many neurodivergent young people are very imaginative and extremely creative. And being a different thinker than everyone else in the typical bell curve can be hard, but it has huge advantages and benefits to our society. Noticing different details that other people don't notice. You know, being hard, different is hard, but is also an advantage because you offer uniqueness. You offer different approaches or perspectives. But sometimes we lose sight of all that when we're focused on the struggles and the problems. Our brains, human brains, are, have this built-in negativity bias for evolutionary purposes. And I've talked about this on the podcast before. But our our brains overemphasize. They, they put more priority on negatives in an effort to keep us alive or safe. And because of that, it can be hard to see the gifts and appreciate the gifts that a neurodivergent brain brings when we're struggling. Like those gifts kind of get lost in the mix. Or yeah, they have these gifts, but here's all these problems, do, 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 and go down the list, right? 
and I've even seen young people resent the gifts that they have, resent being smart, resent um, having talents or abilities because, and even wish that they didn't have them because it makes them feel so different and it, they, they don't see how it's helped them in their life or benefited them. And what I want to offer is there are positive and negative ways to think about and view every gift, trait, or attribute that we have, neurodivergent or neurotypical. You can wish you weren't neurodivergent and that you were more like everyone else, but what traits would you have instead? Because I'm pretty sure we could think up positives and negatives to those traits as well. Many of our weaknesses are simply our strengths getting overused. For example, if you have a, a more logical thinking brain, you might miss nuance or have a harder time empathizing with people and, and with what they're feeling. Or if you're really good at empathizing with others and you're highly aware of what other people are feeling, you might miss the facts and logic in different situations. You know, someone that's good at details maybe has trouble and misses, they miss the big picture. And someone that's really good at seeing the big picture is often likely to be to miss the small details in things. So strengths come with weaknesses. Every gift comes with weaknesses. And we all benefit from support for max, to maximize our strengths and support that helps us minimize our weaknesses. Weaknesses do not mean that something has gone wrong or that there's a problem or that you're a problem. It doesn't even mean something needs to be fixed or that you need to be fixed. It's just all about development. Brains that develop more in certain areas, of course, will have less development in other areas. And if you or your kiddo are struggling, it means there are opportunities for development in those areas if you want to, if you want to develop them. When we're highly focused on weaknesses or where we lack, it's easy to stay stuck and feel very defeated. So I encourage you to examine your strengths and your kiddos' strengths, your gifts and their gifts, and acknowledge them and build on them. If someone gave you a gift right now with beautiful wrapping paper on it, tied up in a bow, would you open it up and then toss it aside or stomp on it because someone else has the gift that you want and that wasn't the gift you wanted? Or do you open it and consider how you can use it in your life. If your creator or the universe or your brain has given you gifts and attributes, do you discount them because they make you different or because other people don't appreciate that gift and treat you badly because of the weaknesses of your gift? Or do you recognize the gift for what it is and make the most of it in your life. When you build on your gifts and strengths, you multiply what you can do with them. When you work on development in your weak areas, no matter how far you get or don't get, the process of development strengthens you. When we struggle and have weak areas, those are clues as to where there's room for development. There's room for progress and growth. And the cool thing is, is that whether you are neurodivergent or neurotypical, no one is exactly the same in their development. We all have strengths and weaknesses. And because of that, we can help each other. No one is expected to be good at everything or do it alone. And no one is of more worth or less worth because of which strengths and weaknesses they have. If you are a human on this planet, you have value and you have worth simply because you are a human and your brain is the gift that comes with being a human, being the human that you are, typical or not. What do you want to do with that human brain that you have?
that's your gift and your contribution to this world. And the ways that we support each other in our development expands those gifts. The child, teen, or young adult you are raising is a unique gift to you. Your child gives you unique gifts through the process of raising them. And we each get to experience learning, growth, and development through our interactions and our experiences with each of the people that we love that are in our life. What an amazing gift. Even if it's a hard gift sometimes, it's still an incredible gift. I hope you have happy holidays and truly treasure your gifts, all of them, and everything that comes with them. Thanks for listening. Take care. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Autism and Neurodiversity with Jason and Debbie. If you want to learn more about our work, come visit us at jasondebbie.com. That's J-A-S-O-N-D-E-B-B-I-E.com. Thank you.